Hey, how's everyone doing? We got our next project over here. Um, I got this uh, pretty cheap um, 2001 Honda Accord. Uh, it's an EX, it's fully loaded, leather interior. Um, it's got the 2.3 liter uh, four cylinder in it, automatic, which I already replaced the transmission on it once. Right here, I should say twice. I bought a used unit and it was no good. Then I bought another used unit and it works perfect. So now we got this thing going pretty good here. Uh, it's a nice little car. Not bad. All leather interior. Sunroof. Yeah, so I'm definitely happy with it, that's for sure. Anyways, today's project is we're going to clean these rims up on it. And by that I mean we're painting them. These are pretty shot. There's the front one there. We got the back one here. And so I'm going to bring them in. Uh, we're going to do some painting. So let me get this thing jacked up and we will go from there and see what how it goes. So hold on a second and we'll go uh, we'll get to work. Bye. All right, we're back. I got two of the wheels off. I got one here. You can see she's pretty scuffed up pretty good. So we might have to do some sanding on this. Oh, the other one's just as bad. It's all right, we'll give it a go. Um, I got new center caps right here. I got these off eBay for like, uh, I think it was $14 delivered, ship. So we got that, stopped at a uh, parts store. Got some uh, paint here. There you go, that's the type of paint. A little bit of primer, some gloss. I stopped at the dollar store. Got a can of, I got actually got two cans of oven cleaner here. You're only gonna need a half a can if anything. I just figured I'd buy another one since I'm there. Uh, it's good to keep in the garage on the shelf. And then we got some uh, a deck of playing cards to mask it off. So a buck, a buck, not bad. Plus I got a couple bottles of Louisiana hot sauce, which is damn good. <laughs> so uh, yeah. There we go here. So let's get started on this. I'll get the camera set up. And we're going to start off with cleaning it first. I'm going to hose it down with the um, oven cleaner and wipe her down and see how she comes out. All right, so hold on. All right, we're back. I'm going to start spraying it down with some oven cleaner. Dollar Store Heavy Duty Grease Penetrating Formula. We'll see how it goes. for an oven so we're gonna let it sit on here for about five minutes and we'll go from there and see what happens okay this has been uh the oven cleaner has been soaked down for about five minutes now i don't have any good brushes bristle brushes i thought i did but i guess i don't so i'm gonna use what i got it's an old it's an older car so it's not like it has to come out perfect just better than what these look I'm probably just going to end up selling this thing, so. A little beautification helps out, you know. Yeah, the person I got it from was my brother's uh, friend's wife's car. And the transmission blew in it. She took it in the Honda. The car's always been serviced in the Honda dealership. And uh, they wanted like $3,500 for a new transmission, so she bought a new Honda instead, one of the little SUVs. And what happened was they were only going to give her $500 bucks for, the, uh, for the Honda, which has 132,000 miles, runs excellent. It's a good little car. So I told her, I said, oh, I'll give you a little bit more, better than giving it away to them, to the dealership. She said, sure. And so that's how I got it. So I know the car, it's a California car, because they moved here to Connecticut from California. And um, yeah, nice car, no rust. All service records from Honda. 
had new brake lines put on a couple years ago by Honda. So that's pretty good. And all the service has been done by Honda. So yeah, we're all right. I should be able to make a couple bucks off this car. Not a lot, but hey. It'll help finance another project, you know what I mean? I have that 455 uh, Buick engine I want to build. So, the percent counts, right? Let's dry this off. Oh, I, that made a big difference. There you go. Yeah, this video will probably be step by step on how to do this. I gotta pop this out next too. All right, so yeah, not too bad. I could start. I'm gonna try sanding it down next. See what we can do to kind of clean this up just a little. So let me dig through my uh, sanding disc. See what I got. That's not as coarse. We'll go from there. I'm not trying to make it look perfect new, I'm just trying to make it look better. Make it nice clean, you know what I mean? Mm. It's not like I go around buying cars and selling them. It's not what I do. I just, I happen to get a good deal on this one, I figured why not. Alright, so let me pop this out, let me find some, uh, what I'm going to do to sand this down and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Alright, I found some 220 discs. Nice DA sander, I gave it a try, it's working pretty good. <laughs> Okay, I found me a nice, a really worn out floppy disk to do the edge here. And so far it's working pretty good.
This actually works pretty good. See one more little spot. All right, so she looks pretty good right there. I'll give you a close-up in a second. We're gonna have to scop it down with some scotch bright next. Hopefully the lines don't show, but no matter what, it still looks better than it did before. So hold on. There we go. This should come out pretty good. I didn't go too far down into the uh to the road rash here, curb rash. I just got it good enough. So let me uh, grab some scotch bright here. We're going to hit it up and uh, yeah, we'll get ready to throw some primer on it. Like I said, we're not going for perfection. Perfection. We're just trying to make it look better. <laughs> so I think we're on the right path. So let me see what happens. All right, bye. All right, I got some, uh, I went upstairs, filled up a cup with uh, hot water, very hot water and some um, dishwashing soap. Takes off all the grease. I'm going to wipe it down. I'm gonna make it look good. Pretty dirty. I'll yeah, we'll just try it all off. Still a lot of dirt. Anyways, you guys get the gist of it right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. Let me wash it down one more time. Uh, and we'll get ready to paint them. Alrighty, bye. All right, let's get this all masked off with some cards. I already taped up the stem here. Mouse now. And these just slip in real nice and easy. Looks good. Yeah, let me get some primer going here. Let me just back this out. If you see that uh, heater back there, that's propane. So I got to make sure I shut that off. Otherwise, I'm going to have a million fish eyes. Usually it happens. I'm not going to say it happens all the time, but it'll put little fish eyes into the paint finish. So I got to shut that down. It's January in Connecticut, so it's really not that bad of a day. It's probably like 35, between 35 and 40 degrees. But in here it's nice and warm. So uh, yeah, 
Let me get some primer going here and we'll get going. All right, so I found a can of uh, adhesion promoter, which helps the paint bond to the metal, to the materials. So we're gonna hit it up with this first. Doesn't take much, just the dusting. Make sure you get the edges real good. All right, so. And give that a second to dry. All right, we're back. Let's do a little uh, primer on here. I'm not looking to paint the thing with primer, I'm just... And that's it. That's all we want. Oh, uh, you know what? Lug nut holes. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for that. I'll give you guys a close up right now. So hold on. Here it is. It's good enough. I'm going to give this about five minutes to dry and then we're going to move on to the uh, paint. So, yeah, there we go. Looks pretty good. Alrighty. Alright. That's it for now. Alright. Time to start with the paint. I shook it off pretty good. There we go. We'll see how she looks. First coat, I'm just dusting it. All right, we'll let that first coat dry. Take about, give us five minutes, and we'll put the second coat on next. All right, here it goes. Looks a heck of a lot better, huh? I mean, you can still see the, some of the blemishes, but when you compare it to that, now to this, oh yeah, this looks a lot better. All right, so let's just dry. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take the cards off, unmask the, uh, the ear valve stem, and that's it. I think we're golden here. We'll put the center cap in new. Let's hopefully, I hope that new center cap, the silver matches. <laughs> I got it, hey, as close as I could get it. But you can still see a little blemish there. It's all road rash, nothing I could do about it. Well, unless, like I said, I sat here and sanded for hours. I'm just not going to do that, so. All right, then, so let's let this dry, and then we'll pull it down, pull it apart, and uh, see what she looks like. All right, from what I forgot to mention, I got to put the clear on still. So, we got some wheel gloss clear here. And, uh, yeah, that should protect it pretty good. Give it some uh, shine, too. I'm just going to put two coats on. All right, so I'm gonna wait another five minutes, put one more coat, and that's all it's getting, two coats of clear. Um, I'm not gonna show that. One more coat of clear is not gonna, you know, you guys got the idea. And then, uh, yeah, next time will be when I um, have it all apart, and we'll see how she looks. All righty, bye for now. All right, she's all done. Looks pretty good, if you ask me, if you compare it to this one. And back over to here. 
Yeah, so all done. I mean, you can see a couple of the blemishes here, but that's all right. So yeah, that'll end this video right there. And uh, yeah, let me start the next one uh, now. <laughs> Still got three more to do. All right, so that's it for now. I'm definitely happy with the results. Paint was okay. Clear coat worked. Everything, uh, yeah, did exactly. Um, it came out as good as I expected it to come out with the time I'm putting into it. I'll put it that way. So, yeah, much better. All right, so that's it for now. Bye.